channel i'm swati hope you are doing great so guys i'm planning to start a series of videos in which i'm going to be sharing with you all all the possible and required information that may help an international students who are aspiring to come to us for their education i'm going to take you all through all the mini and the major steps in detail from how to get an admission to the university what are the exams you would need to take to get an admission how to choose the right university and also what are the options available after graduation so stay tuned this is going to be a very useful information i'm going to post this video in parts because otherwise it will be very overwhelming for you so let's get started so when i was coming to us i had too many questions in my mind and i was very confused i had questions like how to choose the right university for me how to make sure that uh, i'm going to the university that meets my course requirement how to get an admission into the university like what are the exams i would be needing to take to get an admission to the decent university uh, what to do after you get an admission how does the visa process works what are the options available after you graduate so you want to keep all these parameters in mind when you go to us so guys to initiate the process and start your journey towards studying in us the first and the foremost step that you would need to do is taking an international english language test so this test can be ielts or toefl both are international english language test for ielts the minimum requirement in most of the university is 6.5 and it is scored on a scale of 9 for toefl the minimum requirement is 80 and it is scored on a scale of 120 so i took ielts and uh, you can take any of these uh, test so make sure whatever university you are applying to you know the requirements clearly nevertheless it's always better to get high score because the more the better and it is a mandatory international admission requirement so you cannot skip this step you would need to take ielts or toefl and get a good score to get an admission into a decent university So there is one more additional exam that you would need to take along with IELTS or TOEFL. It is GRE for master's students and uh, SAT for bachelor's students. So if you are planning to study masters in US, you would need to take GRE and IELTS or TOEFL. If you are planning to study bachelor's in US, you would need to take SAT and IELTS or TOEFL. So you would need to take these two exams. to get an admission so now that we know that these are the two tests we are going to take if we want to get an admission to the us university additionally what we can do is we can parallelly research for the university because these two tests are there and are the requirements regardless of the university that you are going to so you can start preparing for these two tests and parallelly you can start researching about the universities as well so that you might get an idea like what score you want to target on important point to highlight here uh gre is a mandate course for the students who are coming here for engineering uh, i came here for masters in computer engineering and it was one of the mandate uh, exam for me to take but for the people who are coming for medical and for bio related courses it can be uh, an exception so you can check out the course or admission requirement from your university if you are a, if you are in a health department uh but uh, regardless of which course you choose IELTS and TOEFL are mandatory international admission requirement. So the next question and invariably the most important question is how to choose a good university. So as an international student when it comes to choosing a good university you would need to take care of multiple things from tuition cost, cost of living to career goals to the support from the university to kind of scholarship program they offer and to the location as well. So I'm going to explain this situation to you with my very own personal experience how I was able to consider all these factors from location to cost of living to tuition cost and everything and ended up uh, landing into a decent college so I studied from Fresno State California State University Fresno and I completed my masters in computer engineering so my university is 2 hours away from san francisco bay area and uh, bay area is also known as silicon valley so it has all the major companies and fresno is just 2 hours away from silicon valley so the location is pretty good and the second factor that i considered while choosing fresno state is cost so i am in bay area now but choosing fresno state as an international student was a good decision because it was a win win situation based on the location i chose based on the cost of uh, living it had 
the tuition cost it had because it is a state university so the tuition cost is also a lot less than the private institutes so you need to consider all these factor while choosing a university university courses that these are the courses you are looking forward to studying so getting back to the first step after you complete your exams ielts and toefl or gre so once you get your score you need to start applying to the universities that you shortlisted based on the courses that you want to do the location that you would like to go and you will start uh, applying to those universities so you would need to fill an application electronically and also you would need to send your documents by mail so you need to do both Besides the documents required in order to apply to a US university, you can always find them uh, in the university portal that you are applying to. But the mandatory uh, documents are first GRE. You can send your GRE score on the day of your GRE exam. As soon as you finish your exam, you will get an option to send your GRE score to five universities for free. So you should always make use of that. That is the reason I mentioned earlier in this video that make sure you start researching your universities while preparing for GRE, IELTS and TOEFL. Same goes with IELTS and TOEFL exam. When you appear for IELTS and TOEFL, you will get an option at the end of your test to send a score to I think three universities for free. So you can always avail that uh, free service. Uh, if you want to send it to more university, more than five or more than three, I think you would need to pay additionally. And the third document that you would need to send is your transcripts, your bachelor transcript. If you're coming here for masters, your official transcript, they would need the hard copy of it. So you make sure you order the transcript well in advance to the bachelor's college and uh, get the hard copies uh, for you to be able to send it to the university. And the fourth important document that you would need to work on is letter of recommendations. So you would need three letter of recommendation from your professors, uh, from your bachelor's college, or if you're coming here for bachelor's from your 10th and 12th grade uh, uh, professors or teachers. Letter of recommendations, GRE score, IELTS score, or TOEFL score, and transcripts. So these four documents are mandatory for all the universities. They can be additional requirement as well. So feel free to check out the university portal that you are applying to so you need to make sure you apply to four to five university for the course you are planning to take and before applying also you need to go to the university portal and look at the course curriculum and to make sure whatever you are looking for is there in that university so why i'm advising you guys to apply to four to five universities uh, so that it's not necessary that you will get an admission from all the universities that you apply to even if you get an admission uh, from three universities out of five you apply to, you have an option to compare between two or three universities. So make sure you apply to like enough number of universities